FORMER PRESIDENT BILL CLINTON RETURNED TO CINCINNATI TO RALLY SUPPORT FOR HIS WIFE THIS MORNING. NOT ON YOUR SIDE, JASON LAW WAS AT THE FREEDOM CENTER DOWNTOWN WHERE THE 42ND PRESIDENT TRIED TO ENERGIZE VOTERS. FOR THE SECOND TIME IN A MONTH, PRESIDENT CLINTON WAS IN CINCINNATI STUMPING FOR THE FORMER FIRST LADY. AND PRESIDENT CLINTON DID NOT WASTE ANY TIME ADDRESSING THE UNREST IN CHICAGO FRIDAY NIGHT. CLINTON SAID THE IMAGES AND VIDEO FROM CHICAGO DISTURBED HIM. Look. This is more sober than I meant this talk to be, but I'm worried about what I saw in Chicago last night. I'm worried about the tone of the presidential debates on the other side. President Clinton intended to give his audience more reasons to vote for his wife, but he couldn't hide his disappointment over what happened in Chicago Friday. Everybody was so mad, right? And a lot of people apparently may have gotten hurt, and we're lucky it didn't burst into a full-scale riot outside. This has been building up for a long time. He also criticized the contentious and controversial race for the Republican nomination. Started off making us all feel like we were just sixth graders, you know, looking at a fight during recess. And then they kept saying more and more and more things. Five states head to the polls Tuesday in the Democratic primary. Saturday morning, Hillary Clinton's supporters were confident she would carry Ohio in its 160 delegates. I sense that uh, she will win Ohio and Florida. Ohio, I mean, everybody looks for Ohio, and Hamilton County is really a big a deciding factor in Ohio, so yeah, we're, we're important here. Two polls conducted last week show Hillary Clinton has a sizable lead over Senator Bernie Sanders. Quinnipiac has her up nine points, and public policy polling has her up 26. Jason Law, nine on your side.